Yeah. Right. Do you want to start with a statement? Yep. Um, well, the court uh, has dismissed the charge against Johnny Lomax here today. They've dismissed the charge because the prosecution brought no evidence. Uh, Johnny Lomax's uh, good name has been restored after having been dragged through the mud for no good reason. I just want to point out, John's lawyers, Johnny's lawyers, on the 30th of July, shortly after these charges were brought, wrote to the Director of Public Prosecution saying this, there's no reasonable prospect that this prosecution can succeed. In these circumstances, the prosecution should immediately withdraw the charge against Mr Lomax. Should you decline this request, this offer will be tendered in an application for costs that will be made at the appropriate time. And the court today has ordered costs. So we've had uh, a, a, a staged arrest. We've had uh, media releases from uh, Liberal Party politicians dragging Johnny's name through the mud. And when it comes to court, there's no evidence of it. This isn't a dismissal on a technicality. Uh, this is an absolute slam dunk. But more importantly, uh, Johnny and his family have been put through a lot of stress for no good reason. It's been used to attack the union and its members. Um, and yet we get here today and there is no evidence to be offered. The Attorney General, George Brandis, needs to explain how these charges came to be laid. He needs to explain how much public money has been wasted on this exercise and we need to find out who ordered this charge to be laid. Thank you, and Johnny is gonna say some things, and uh, uh, I think John Ages will also be uh, available to take questions. Yeah, well, all, all I wanna say is that I've been for a bit of hell over the last 10 weeks, you know, I'm just glad that uh, we see a bit of sanity because I'm only here to fight for workers' rights, and that's something that I'll keep doing. I never did my job to go to uh, jail or anything like that, uh, and I'm really um, thankful that I've got a lot of support that people understand me, but uh, I want my name cleared because I've ne done, never done nothing wrong with this job, and I'll, I'll keep doing my job, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah! yeah. Well, I'm happy to answer any questions. Can you just tell us briefly what happened in court today and how strong was the prosecution case? Well, there was never a prosecution case. There are essential elements of the charge, which even in the prosecution's brief, there was no evidence. And that's apparent on the safety of facts that was used uh, on the day that Johnny was first before the court. It was obvious. Yeah. It's a little puzzling as to why, given that this was a staged arrest, why legal advice wasn't taken before the staged arrest, because it would have identified this floor, that would have saved Johnny and his family all the terrible times that they've been through over the last 10 weeks. Um, well, I can only assume that legal advice wasn't sought. If it was sought, um, well, there would be issues about its veracity. In any event, the DPP has determined, once it received the brief from the Australian Federal Police, that there were no prospects of success. Sadness is that it takes 10 weeks. The sadness is that it happens after Johnny's name, the names of his children, uh, and his family have been splashed across newspapers at a time when Johnny was preparing to give evidence before the Royal Commission. There are a number of questions there that can be answered. It's not for me to ask the questions, and it's certainly not for me to answer. Uh, happy with the result today, Mr. Absolutely. But it's a result we should have got the first time. Mr. Moon, I'm going to ask you some questions. We've seen other former officials and CFMU members also face support on similar charges. Why haven't we seen a similar level of support in the ACT for those members? Well, in relation, in relation to uh, one former member of the union who, who was expelled by the union, uh, that individual will have his day in court. It is not a, a charge which has got anything similar uh, with what involves Johnny and uh, uh, the union uh, will uh, allow that individual to have his day in court as an individual. The situation with Johnny is quite different. The charge with Johnny was that he negotiated a pay rise for workers. That's not a crime in any civilised country in the world. The only place that's a crime is in tin pot third world dictatorships. Now, if you think that's overstating it a bit, the fact that a union organiser can face a criminal charge for negotiating an agreement for workers, every individual, every trade unionist, every worker, if they're not in a union, or to think about the consequences of that and what that means in a democratic country. 
We've heard that there was no uh, basis for this charge ever to be brought. Uh, Johnny's lawyers said that from the beginning. They pushed ahead with this anyway. They dragged his name through the mud and yet we get to court and there is no evidence to be presented. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, that Mr Lomax uh, will be talking to his lawyers and the union will fully support him in considering uh, any further legal action that may be taken over this absolutely disgraceful um, prosecution, a prosecution that should never have eventuated. The um, Australian Federal Police should not be dragged into the middle of the Federal Government's war against organised labour, workers and trade unions. And they are being politicised at the moment. That's our, that's our concern. Is it fair enough though that police investigate allegations of corruption? Well, it's not an allegation of corruption. And, and really you should wash your mouth out saying that. You know, how could you say an allegation of corruption for a, um, a person that's negotiated a pay rise for workers? No allegation of corruption. There's an allegation of a worker, a trade union official, elected by his members to do a job, doing that job. And that is what the Federal Police absolutely should not be wasting their resources on. We have got serious organised crime in this country. We've got an epidemic of ice occurring in this country. We've got uh, lots and lots of concerns about national security. That's what we pay our taxes for. That's what the Federal Police ought to be uh, looking at. They shouldn't be dragged into uh, political games that the Federal Government is playing in relation to trade unions. Thank Could you. Could you elaborate on what further legal action is being proposed? Well, uh, I think that uh, John will be speaking to his lawyers about what options may be open uh, for further litigation uh, for redress for what we've seen. Uh, that's a matter that's not been uh, taken any further yet. I think uh, the legal team have been waiting for the matter to uh, finalise. This matter's finalised, but uh, uh, you should uh, keep, your, uh, keep your ears open because we don't think the matter's over yet. Are you hopeful of getting a similar result today in the Supreme Court with the case over the raid of the District Courts? Well, that, that case is still in front of the court, um, and uh, I'm not going to comment in detail, but I'll say this. Um, the raid partly was based on the prosecution of John Johnny Lomax. Um, the union's got nothing to hide. We've been cooperative with the Australian Federal Police and other regulators uh, when it comes to any uh, matters of criminality in the industry. Um, there was no need uh, for a heavy-handed raid. Dozens of Federal Police there. How much that particular exercise cost is anyone's guess. Uh, at the union lawyers are in there at the moment uh, uh, defending our position and uh, we are hopeful of a good outcome. Has there been an abuse of legal process in both these matters? Well, I'm not going to comment on the matter that's still in front of the court, but there's absolutely been an abuse of process in respect of John Lomax. There was no case to answer. There was no evidence presented. Uh, there were costs awarded. Um, the uh, Australian Federal Police and the Director of Public Prosecutions were put on notice that costs would be sought, um, and yet they allowed this to drag on for weeks and weeks. In the atmosphere of a Royal Commission, in the atmosphere of Federal Government Ministers, behind parliamentary privilege, making inflammatory comments uh, about, about this matter and other matters. And people ought to be uh, very careful about taking anything that the, uh, that the, the uh, federal LNP government uh, say about unions, our unions or anything else seriously when they use matters like this as political footballs. Thank you.